Right, hello guys, welcome back to another episode. This week I've come fishing with Cliff and we've come down to Coon Beach. Uh, we're going to have a fish, but this week's episode is going to be slightly different because I'm going to be not using my normal uh, normal beach casting continental rod. I'm actually going to be testing and using this rod here, which is the Rigged and Ready Smuggler Max Travel Fishing Rod, um, which looks absolutely awesome. I mean, it comes in a nice hard case. I'm just going to open the case now. I'll get some close-up shots for you in a second. And basically, all the bits and pieces are in this rolled out pouch here and um, I'm going to fish with it tonight I'm going to give it a, a really good go uh, on a full uh, beach fishing session and then over the next couple of episodes we're going to test the rod um, in different you know, scenarios uh, and then overall we'll give a final opinion after we've done that so this is the rigged and ready smuggler max travel fishing rod uh, it's got a three pound test curve and its casting weights are uh, regular casting from 50 to 100 grams and then it's got fast fast 80 to 170 grams which is what we'll be using tonight the fast tip um, it comes with two different tips um, and I'm just gonna get it all set up now and I'll show you what it looks like um, and then we'll have a fish with it and like I said uh, hopefully it'll catch us some fish tonight Right, so like I said then, you get a hard case, which is here. Nice padded foam case, really hard out of shell. Comes with a strap, a shoulder strap. I've added some little carabiner clips just to clip onto my rucksack at either end. And then here it is. So we're gonna fold it open. Let's just have a look at some of the components that are in it. I'm just going to get all the components out and then we will build the rod from scratch. Right, so all our pieces are laid out here. This is the rigged and ready travel rod in all its glory. So there's a real seat bit there. It's got all the bits and pieces and information on there. Like I said, you can have this at two different lengths. You can have it at 360 or 320. We're going for the 360 tonight. Um, and I'm literally just going to get this all sorted and set up if I can remember how to do it correctly right so I'm taking the butt section first and putting the butt section into the rod it's a nice slim rod that section goes in next really simple and easy to do it's got a nice fold out first eye there so all you do if you want to unrelease it is you push it down and then it clips down into place and then when you want it up you just pop it up right so I'm going to get the rest of this rod set up um, and then I'll come back to you and show you what it looks like right so here's the rod all set up on the tripod and I mean it's a pretty good size to be fair I'm going to load it up and use it exactly the same as I would do my normal fishing rods I'm going to load it up with the Akios air loop r10 reel uh, braid and then we're just going to fish it the same as what we usually would do um, just to get an overall opinion of what it's like right so the kind of ground we're fishing over tonight is predominantly sand sand flats lovely nice sand a couple of bits of pebbles and rocks and bits and pieces lying around but this is what we're going to be fishing over tonight i'm really looking forward to this one i'm just going to see cliff He's uh, started off doing a bit of lug pumping. Hopefully he's had a couple, which would be cool. Let's we'll see if we can find anything else. A nice razor, razor shells lying about. We're gonna have a look around, see what we can find. It's always good looking for bits and pieces on the beach. Nice shell there. Yeah, so let's go and see what Chris found. My right, first find of the day, a nice little bit of razorfish. Awesome tipping bait. So while we're here, we'll grab a couple of these and whack them in Chris's bag. Speaking of the devil, how you doing, mate? Hello there. How are we doing? Doing good, doing good. Drop it in. So I've left Cliff in charge of doing some pumping worms. How are you getting on? Oh, he ain't got any worms, but he's found 
don't know what that is really, it's like a whelk or something isn't it? Yeah. Don't know. If you know what this is, let us know in the comments. It's good to good to learn. But you know, we dig that out and hopefully we can use that as some bait. Nice one. It's a sea snail. A sea snail it some, is. Some sort anyway. Yeah, let us let us know in the comments so we can figure out what things are. Um, because like I say, uh, I ain't got a clue on some of these bits that we're finding. But yeah. Right, let's do some pumping and hopefully we'll be able to get some worms. Right then. My first time at pumping for a while. But difficult to pump and film at the same time. Oh, Ooh, there you go. Whoa, look That's a nice that. worm, that one. There we go. See, perseverance pays off. There we go, nice little worm there. Make a nice little bait for us. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, so just go to show you, if you don't hit, I think these are all worm casts, these black. I've never seen black worm cast before. But you know. They're quite far down, mate. Might be better bringing a shovel around here. Yeah, look, they're all, all here, look. We found uh, found where the worms are. Found the worm field. Found the worm field, man. It's really <laughs> hard ground. That one. Struck oil. Yeah, there you go. Wash it off. That's a beauty size, that one. There you go, there's another one then, guys. So you're all in this dirty mud, dirty mud tonight. They're not great worms, I mean, they're nice size. Nice and juicy, but they're definitely down in the older, in the old dirty stuff tonight. Look at all that. All right, guys, so we found a few worms. I so said we definitely we definitely ate pros. I mean, <laughs> we got them in a bag for a starters because I forgot the uh, forgot the older uh, bucket. But hey, we're giving it a go. That's all that matters. My hands are covered in worm juice, which is cool. And we've got about five or six worms, which will get us get us started. Cliff is badgering on like a trooper. Look at him go, man. Look at him go. There's definitely a knack to it, isn't it? Which I haven't got. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, mate, you and me both. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's a nice oh. worm. That's a double worm, isn't it? That's a two, or is that, two a, is that a worm that's been cutting off? Yeah. It's... <laughs> oh, mate, we're such amateurs at this, I tell you. Wonder worms. There you go. That's a nice fat worm. If that was a full worm, that... there you go. It looks like a full worm now. There we go. We're, we're getting bits of worms. It's good job we ain't getting paid to do this. <laughs> right, well, Cliff's just pumped this guy. I wonder if I can get him out. Look at the size of that worm, man. Look at the size of that worm. I think that's probably the biggest worm I've ever seen. And you guys have seen it here live on on the channel. Look at the size. Cliff, you should be proud of that worm, right, mate. That's a PB That is a PB worm for Cliff. Woo, Look at the freaking thickness of that, man. Look at that. That's my thumb next to this worm. I've got, I've got big shovel hands, man. Look at the size of that worm. Right guys, so baits wise tonight we've got a whole selection of different baits. We've got some blueies here, um, we've got some rolled lug here, which is there, we need to get rid of that. Um, I've got some squid which I'm going to start off with tonight by penneling that. And then we've got some mackerel as well, which is there. So we've got a nice wide range of variety of baits. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by taking the squid, which is here, and just penneling that up nice and easy. Take the big hook through the squid and then come out just by the face like that. I'm just going to wrap that up using some bait elastic. If you want to see uh, a lot more in-depth baiting videos head over to the baiting ups playlist and there'll be all of the baiting up videos in there that we've done so far with worm, squid, and a crab, and so on and so forth. All the uh, usual baits that people use on a session for sea fishing. So I'm not going to go crazy with this, I'm just going to do a couple of wraps around there. I'm going to tie it off like that. Snap it. 
Oh, look at the bottom, it's nice and tight, it ain't going nowhere. Now we're just going to feed our top octopus hook down to the top and just nick it in the top of the bait there and pull that line tight. And there we got our nice panel squid. Right, so on the second rig, I'm just going to use uh, a squid, which is here. Uh, with some old sticky black lug and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lug in my hand and just roll it into a sausage like that and I'm going to lay the sausage of lug alongside the squid like that and now I'm just going to bind them together using the elastic Nice and simple, easy peasy. So there's your sausage of lug mixed with your squid. Bottom hook in the bottom. Wrapping up, making sure the hook points are nice and proud. We've also got the fresh lug that Cliff dug for us earlier, which is pretty cool. We'll be using that throughout the session. Uh, what we want to do now is just want to get some baits out in the water. We're fishing low tide up tonight. So we're going to be out on the sand for the first part of the session. My favourite. Grab the top hook. Down to the top of the bait. One, two, underneath the bait elastic, and then through the top. Pull that nice and tight, and there is our second bait, all ready to go. Right, so here we are, we're all G'd up, uh, penneled pulley rig, whatever you want to call it, uh, octopus hook at the top, wide gate hook at the bottom. We're using the blue LEDs on the rod um, just to test the rod. Um, and see how it copes with that and then if it's all good and gravy we'll move up to the yellows and see how it fares with that so yeah let's get these cast out then and uh, we'll see if we can catch some fish on this rod right so we're down by the water's edge obviously it's slow tide we're just on the turn of the tide now just going out let's have a quick look Obviously going to be doing a bit of wading to get the uh, the bait out. But yeah, I mean, we're looking good. We're looking good. Cliff's just about to cast his rod out now. He's over there somewhere. There he is. He's going to wade out a little bit and uh, throw his bait out. He's using a weird bait tonight. He's using uh, crab sticks or something. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he gets them with that. And um, I'm just going to walk myself back to the rod now. Um, and then we are going to cast out the rigged and ready travel rod and see how we get on with it. Right guys, here we go. The rigged and ready travel rod. I'm using exactly the same setup as I would usually use. Um, we have got the Akios Air Loop R10 Black Edition. I'm braided straight through. And we are walking into the abyss. To be honest with you, for those that uh, use braid, I should really be having my finger stall on, which I will get out shortly. I'm just going to walk this bait out a bit. I'm not going to go too crazy. And then we're going to cast her up into the distance. And see how we get on with this, uh, with this rod. Nothing major. Cast nice. And out we go. We are officially out. Right, back off the, the drag and we'll walk her back to the tripod. There we go. And we shall see what happens tonight. The rod's a really nice rod to be fair, it casts really nice. I just cast it now and it's pretty smooth on the cast. Um, 
very very light obviously with it being a travel rod which is quite handy be interesting to see uh, how it performs over the full session but yeah first cast we are in back at the tripod now I'm just going to wind down to the lead feel the lead grip nicely I say we're only on the little blue leads tonight it's not really that windy the sea's not rough there's no reason to use anything other there we go alright back the drag off a little bit there we go and we are officially out fishing there we go all right, I think closer to the first fish of the night. I will go and retrieve it when it comes a little bit closer. Can't go for this in a big one, mate. Got a nice bend in the top of his rod. I want to go out there and try and find it for you. It's something a bit loose. Oh no. Are we yaying or naying? Oh man. Right guys, so about an hour and a bit into the session. Uh, apart from gathering quite a few worms now and a few razor fish, nothing much is happening to be fair. We're about an hour and a bit into the rise of the tide. So hopefully around the top of the tide or the turn of the tide, we should see some fish. Right, so we're two hours in to the session. Uh, the water is nearly touching the stones. So they've been pushed all the way back just started getting little nibbles now nothing's committed to the baits we're using fresh blacks that we pumped earlier and yeah there's not really much more to say to be fair hopefully one of us will be uh, catching the fish soon place your bets now all right now folks well it definitely ain't record bait break in but we christened the rod on the premium freshly dug lug bait oh taking on a 6-0 hook a small pin whiten. Let's get him back in. Right, so we're on a secret bait tonight. Can I catch a fish on a sausage? Do fish even like sausages? We're about to find out. Chopping board. I'm just going to take the sausage. Oh, that cut my fingers off in the process. Cut it in half. Take said piece of sausage, put the knife away so we don't injure anyone. Now I'm going to mount the sausage on my panel rig, and then in a minute I'm going to cast it out and see if, in fact, I can catch a fish on said piece of sausage, which would be absolutely hilarious if it works. All right, quite a big hook. Right, one hook in. I'm just going to lightly chuck this out. Other hook in the top just to hold it. This is really overkill, man. A penalty sausage. Ridiculous. Right, there it is. Sausage tastic. Right then guys, so the sausage is now going to be cast out into the darkness. I'm not going to go mental with this, I'm just going to literally overhead, overhead it. Just out into the water. And then we'll see if anything happens with it. Boom. Just for a bit of fun. Can we catch a fish? Or well, if we catch anything it's going to be a whiting. I think, but it'll be it'll be pretty funny if we can catch it on a sausage. All right, we'll let you know what happens. All right, so the sausage rig 5000 is uh, is now out. All ready to rumble. Cliff's over there untangling the uh, messed up bait. We'll get him a new rig. I think he's going for small hooks now to target the flats. 
I'm going to stay on the big baits and uh, see if we can pull anything monstrous out of the sea. Which is looking highly unlikely at the minute. Right guys, apart from the little pin whiting, nothing is happening whatsoever. I've even resorted to putting a pair of gloves on because it's getting pretty nippy out here now. Uh, what am I going to do? So Cliff's resorted to using a scratching rig. Um, I'm going to stay on the big baits and maybe throw out a bluey and uh, just hope for the best really, I suppose. Right, so finally Cliff's pulled in some fish. He's had a double shot on a small rig, size four hooks. It's a lovely, lovely, that's a flounder. Yeah, nice little flounder there. Absolutely awesome. There we go. And then on the bottom, it's got a nice size whiting to be fair. And that's on the um, razor fish, isn't it? Yeah. That we picked today. Fresh. Happy days, mate. Well done. Lovely. Some good fishing, that. Right, so after Cliff's success, I'm going to change down to small baits now. Um, so I've got a small sticky lug on there. And I'm going to just take the razor fish and Take it out of the shell. Right, so I'm going to cut some small slivers off it just to use for the tipping onto the end of my bait as such. So I can get it on there. Hands are pretty cold now, guys. It's getting pretty cold out here. Cool. And that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go lug bait, tip with a razor fish. On a two clip down rig. Just chucked out there. I'll we'll see if we can pick up some flats. There we go. Right, so we've started getting little bites here and there. Little wiggles on the rod tip. Bites are very clear on this rod. Clear and accurate. It's got a nice got a nice like stiff wobble to the top. There we go. Oh, that was a nice bite. Right, I better put this camera down and see what we've got, I suppose. Can't do any more wobbling. Let's see what we got on here now. Right guys, so a quick pair of pin white for me. Not the flats we were after, but hey, I'll take it after a hard night's fishing. Right, and a couple more of these bad boys for me and Cliff. Just that one a piece. Let's get them back in. And I'm gonna throw a big bait out now. My big bait is here. Back on the bluey, so we're gonna fish the bluey over the high tide to see if we can try and catch a ray. That was the plan. in the top there. Right guys, so we've reached the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching this week. Um, I've been using the Rigged and Ready Smuggler Max Travel Rod, which is their seven piece travel rod, or eight piece if you include the extra tip. I really enjoyed using it. It's been a really nice rod to use. Really light, as you would expect from a travel rod. And it just feels, feels solid to use, really. I'm gonna keep using it for the next couple of sessions in different types of uh, varying situations. So we're going to do a day session on it next, I think. The target some place maybe, and uh, see how it fares up against that. But yeah, overall, it's nice to cast. Although we haven't caught any monsters with it tonight, it's you know handled the few whiting that we caught, uh, you know, really well. The bite detection is fantastic. So yeah, I really enjoyed using it. Right, guys. So there we have it. That's the end of this week's session. 
a uh, bit of a random one this week so we tried the rigged and ready travel rod as you've seen in the video uh, overall the rod performed pretty good to be fair uh, although we only caught white in, or I only, only caught white in Cliff outdone us tonight by not even catching uh, the most white in he even caught a flounder and also managed to pull an absolutely humongous worm uh, out when we were digging as well so yeah thanks to Cliff for coming tonight and all in all it was an alright session you know, we've had a laugh as well which has been fun thanks for watching guys I'll see you on the next one don't forget to like and subscribe